Hi students in the stats class. I uh, just wanted to touch on a couple of future courses you might be interested in uh, in your statistical learning. So you've taken this course. Uh, this is a great course that sets you up. It's not necessarily a prerequisite for other courses across the university, um, but it can be. Uh, we have a lot of programs and a lot of departments that teach statistics classes. And so I wanted to point out a few of them here. Uh, here are a couple of great courses within CFAN, so that, that's within the College of uh, Food and Agriculture and Natural Resource Sciences, where many of you are, are homed. Um, the first one I'll mention is FW8051. Uh, that's a Statistics for Ecologist class. That one's a pretty, uh, a pretty good class, especially if you want to go into Bayesian statistics. We have not really covered that topic in statistics at this class, so I encourage you to, t to look at uh, FW8051. For many of you that are using experiments in your research, uh, there's a great course in entomology, ENT5121 Applied Experimental Design, that will be a great resource for you for analyzing experimental data. There's another great course on space and time analysis of ecological data taught in the entomology department, uh, especially those of you uh, that have spatial data sets or collecting data through time. That's a great resource that will give you the tools to best analyze those kinds of data. A great one that's been taught for the past few years is uh, ENT 5920, Data Management for Biologists. This is a great course that kind of looks at the front end of data analysis uh, and getting you uh, acquainted with some of the procedures for managing data in your study. Now, there are a lot of other departments, like I said, that teach statistics classes. Here are a few of them. Uh, any ones that are stat, those are based on the statistics. Uh, the, we have a school of statistics, uh, and that's uh, over um, on the East Bank campus. So they've got great a uh, number of great ones. Uh, many students that take this class are often interested in uh, some of the multivariate methods, STAT 5401, uh, maybe more applied regression analysis, uh, thinking about linear regression and some of the concepts there. That's STAT 5302. If you have categories in your data set, categorical data, STAT 5421 is a great option for that. If you're looking for um, other kinds of ways to look at your data using non-parametric methods, most of what we've done in this class has assumed that we have data and we can uh, generate statistics based on those data. But STAT 5601 talks a lot about non-parametric methods. A couple of other ones I know that our students uh, have taken in the past. Uh, EPSI is Educational Psychology. There's a great course in longitudinal data um, in that class. There's also a great one if you're collecting survey data, uh, the PA5035, uh, that's in the School of Public Affairs in the Humphrey School. Uh, they've got a great course on survey research and data collection. So I just wanted to point you out these, uh, these couple of courses. There are lots, many more uh, that uh, touch on statistical concepts that you might be interested in enrolling in, in future seminars and, and future classes. So. Uh, I also encourage you to keep tuned to your email inboxes. Oftentimes there are special topics classes um, or even one credit seminars that might focus on a specific topic in statistics or data science or some related field. So these are just a few that came to mind. Uh, and again, you've got this resource in the syllabus that you can refer to in the future.